Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a company name cleaner. Now, the purpose of this is for cold email or for anything else you need to clean a company name. And before you think I'm losing it, what I mean by cleaning the company name is, for example, Google LLC. You can strip the LLC and just have Google. So if you're sending cold emails, imagine you've just extracted a company list of a thousand companies and they're all in their correct sort of legal formats, as in like Google LLC, maybe something PLC, something limited. You don't want to include all of that in a cold email campaign. You just want their company name and extract the rest. So I've built this using AI, I'm using GBTJ and I'm using Make to communicate Google Sheet to Riku, which is the prompt uh, which I'm hosting on. And that will communicate with GPTJ and return the value back via Make, which was formerly Integra Map back into Google Sheets. Sounds complicated, but if it's really easy, I'll show you. So Here's the mixture of company names as my test. I've never done this before live, so we'll see what happens. And if we go to Riku, here is my prompt details. You can see GPTJ is the technology model up here. My temperature's really low. Uh, the higher the temperature, the more kind of chaotic the AI will be, and it will start being creative, a little too creative. So if you keep it nice and low, it works well. Output tokens need to be minimal because company names are small. Uh, frequency penalty, I've just left this at 0.5. Um, it doesn't seem to make much difference for my tests. So we'll see what happens. And I've got the stop sequence in between, you know, every other um, kind of company name and, and in its extraction. So you can see the data set here. I've got primarily limited. And what I want is primarily. And I've got YouTube LLC. And I just want YouTube, Google LLC, and so on. I've given it some random so like full caps to see what will happen if it will understand that this is the company name we could probably get away with just optimum strength maybe the and conditioning is you know a bit fancy but we can just put that in here and so we've got a long variation here google limited liability company and then I've um, added a few extras here just to see what it will do. If we go to make, I'm using a Google Sheet, which is monitoring this part here. And oops. And then make sends an HTTP request. I'll hide parts of this because it's got my API key in and I don't want you guys to have it. <laughs> uh, so all this is doing is got a JSON request um, and basically is calling Riku. So it's sending the details from Google Sheets via a post request. So imagine you're actually posting a letter. I'm sending this information to Riku. Riku will do something with it via GPTJ and then the post will be returned back to me and it will appear here in theory. So I just need to check my setup. So on here for the connection setup, I've got sheet name, which is sheet one, nice and original. Um, table contains headers it doesn't though so it might break but we'll see and then on the return output after the um, http request is finished it's going to return the details here and it's going to paste it into b so i've already built one of these before so i've just correct um i grabbed the correct formatting so it comes in a bundle of data then it's passed and then we get the generated output so let's see if this works um, I want to run 10 because I think I've got 10 company names, nine even. Um, so we don't want to do a limit of nine and we'll see. This could well break. Um, this is the uh, fun part of doing stuff completely on the fly. It's doing something. Let's have a look. Come to here. Oh, it's kind of working. But it's out of order. This is quite nice here. So we've got Claymore CrossFit training and it's identified that as just Claymore CrossFit. I expect people who go to Claymore CrossFit don't call it, oh, let's go to Claymore CrossFit training every single time they go. They probably just say, let's go to Claymore CrossFit. Um, it's very natural in emails to slightly adjust how company names are sort of said, as in like to make it sound human when you're cold emailing. This one here isn't brilliant. I was hoping it would extract the hyphen and the AYC. So I've actually got this 
Oh, I can see why it's not understood. Um, we want here to understand that Atman Yoga Consultancy is just the company name, or maybe it could be abbreviated to AYC, but we don't want the AYC. Imagine sending someone an email saying, hey, how is uh, Atman Yoga Consultancy hyphen AYC doing today? You just want to say, how is Atman Yoga or Atman Yoga Consultancy? Um, so let's check what else we've got back. Yoga map is good. Next phase, yeah, it's dropped the LLC, which is good. Uh, High Time Yoga, um, I suppose that is their company name. Uh, FC cubed or F cubed, however that's pronounced. Fitness is fine. Um, what I wanted to do is just chuck in a load of randoms to see. I think it's taken this as a header, which has confused things. So we'll call this one uncleaned. And we'll call this one cleaned. And I'm going to delete these and I'm going to throw in some extras. So we'll do Google LLC and we'll do Stripe PLC. Stripe isn't a PLC or it might be a PLC actually now, a public lab uh, company, I'm not sure. Um, I'll just put in some others. So we'll do in Google. I'm making these up now. Sheets limited. And then we'll have a Roku limited so i'm going to jumble these up uh, let's move this one down here just so it's not in the same order as before because what i don't want to do is do data set just to copy the previous one which was in here um some of these are in there so if i go to make and we will run it again and let's see what happens Oh, it's continued from down here, but it's just fine. But it's working well, as you can see. Um, let's delete these again, do one more test. And we will choose it where to start. And we'll just do all. Let's see if it does it in order. There we go. What I do want to find out if it recognizes the admin yoga consultancy and drops the hyphen. This is working very nicely, actually. Nah, see, I need a little bit more tuning with this, but we are looking around 90% maybe, and it stopped at nine, I forgot to adjust it. So we'll just continue. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that, really. If I was running a cold email campaign, I would 100% use this because there's various tools doing this. GPTJ is open source and it's free to use. So all you are doing here is paying for the API calls via Riku. And they're not a lot of money, to be perfectly honest. If Stuart is listening from Riku, don't charge any more, please. <laughs> and uh, you could run a list of these to 10,000 for peanuts and have it cleaned. And it'll be cheaper than a virtual assistant or cheaper than an employee of your company. Anyway, any questions, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you like this kind of stuff, ping me a subscribe. Cheers.